Hi, welcome back to another tutorial here on Lemon Squid. Today I have something that's a bit different than our usual tutorials because I actually got a question on how we did our text pop-ups at the bottom, like how we made those. So today I'll show you that. I have a bit of footage here that I'll be working with. It's just really simple, some game footage. I'm going to start with making a new text layer by pressing Ctrl T on my keyboard. And I'm going to type something here like um, really important text. And I'm going to change this to the Montserrat um, font. I believe I used either extra bold, black, or semi bold. I think it was extra bold. I made the text white, and it was a bit smaller around 70 60 but you can always work with a size that works best for you line it out properly where you want it all right now we're going to make a shape layer which i'm going to do by going to layer new shape layer that i'm going to press add here on my screen i'm going to make a rectangle and i'm going to use a fill for this one, I'm going to make it black. There we go. I'll make it a bit bigger so it fits the size of the text. Which is around 800. And this one, you can always like keep standard sizes for your text. I'm going to set the position of the text to a round number, so like 870. And this one as well. Um, I also made this one have round corners, the roundness. You can always like not do this if you want to, like it's always a personal preference. But it looks, it just looks really nice with a rounded out border. Make the transparency or the opacity, make it 50%. You can, by the way, open this opacity really quickly by pressing T on your keyboard and let's say for example I also want the scale to open up here I can hold shift and press S on my keyboard I'm not going to use that but it's just a handy tip I'm going to duplicate the shape layer I'm going to make the color white and I'm going to make the opacity 100% I'm going to alpha mat it there we go so what this means is when I animate this one close like this, we'll also have to do that for the other layer, the shape layer two. So if you do not want the background, this one um, behind there, you can just remove that completely and have your text disappear with this one. So it'll look like this. For now, I'm going to show you what it does when you sync these two. As you can see, this will create the fading effect of the text with the background. It looks like um, there's like a door closing on it. We're going to make a simple open and close animation, which this setting is right now is 800. I'm going to make it about 30 frames. Or that's not 30 frames, is it? I have no clue, probably something like that. Like one second. Make this one zero. Always easy ease. I'm going to make it stand for around three seconds. Make another keyframe. And close it out. Now, if you want to copy this, the effect you just made so you don't have to redo it, you can just select it, press Control C, go to your layer, open up the same effect which is the size here. Go towards it, click it, make sure it's selected. Press Control V. As you can see, now we have the animation on here as well.